Well, Mason, you guys have had a, a pretty darn good year, eight and one record through the playoffs. Um, to what do you owe that success to you? Yeah, I think there's a few things, obviously. Uh, I think just connected football. That starts from Coach Flory and our coaching staff. They've obviously, they're obviously very good at what they do and they're talented and they put together a great game plan every week. And then uh, for us, it's the trench play and that's where it all starts. O-line, D-line, just owning the line of scrimmage. And then our run game, especially on offense, has helped a lot. So I think those are definitely the biggest factors for us being here. Um, you mentioned your O-line. I mean, what's it like playing behind an O-line that's bigger than the Rough Riders? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> crazy. Obviously, we have two CFL draft picks are already on the O-line, and then I'm sure going to be Noah Zerd is probably going to be a first or second rounder this year. So definitely talented. Um, maybe it makes it tough to see those quick outs sometimes. you got some big <laughs> boys on the tackles there, but def definitely uh, fortunate to have some time back there. Um, how different is it preparing for a team that's not in your conference? Um, it's definitely a little different. Obviously, uh, you have different things going on in your lives. Obviously, you try to shut everything out, but you have studying, you have stuff like that. And uh, the film, the dedication you have to put to film is a lot more definitely when you're playing out of conference just because you're not used to them. They're a different team. Where if you're playing against Regina that you play twice a year, it's a whole different ball game. You can watch them film, but you have a pretty good idea what you're getting. Where if you're, when you're playing Montreal or Western, it's a whole new thing that you're not used to. So definitely just a lot of film and uh, yeah, so definitely a lot more time, a lot more time. Could you describe your relationship with Coach Scott Flory? Yeah, I, I, would, I would hope, I think it's pretty good. I think I, he said good things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, he's, he's a great guy. I have a ton of respect for him. And uh, yeah, he, he has a lot of trust in me, which I appreciate and I have a lot of trust in him. And he knows when I'm, when I'm, when I'm playing the game, he knows I'm see, seeing it kind of the same way he is just because we watch a lot of film together. And uh, yeah, I just, I think we have a lot of trust in each other and we kind of feed off that. And uh, yeah, it's just really positive. What needs to go right on Saturday for you guys to raise that Banyan Cup? Yeah, I think uh, there's a few things. I think we just have to stay connected and play 60 minutes. That's the biggest thing. I think we've been a second half team throughout. We need to start faster than we have previously, so that's really big. And then once again, just owning the line of scrimmage. We need an O-line, D-line play to step up like they have all year. And then we just need to be connected offensive, offensively, staying on the field, and then defensively getting two and outs and whatnot. So definitely starts with the trench play and just playing connected football. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, you. Thank you. I appreciate it.